I'm here with uh, Jay because he's gassing up right now because we're we're going on a little road trip. Jay, where are we going? Hobby stores. Get some games. We're going to hobby stores to get some games. Purchases. Let's make some purchases. I've got my eyes set on a, a, a Nest top loader today. Right, Holmes? Yes, sir. Right. So, we are masters of all we survey. So we're going to go and buy video games as soon as we get some gas in this car. Jay, you haven't uh, been in a vid in like a long ass time. I know, right? It's been a and like, uh, Yeah, a since year, the last time was that last arcade video I did, right? Yeah, when you took a crap in the Gundam. Probably. Yeah, when I took a crap in the Gundam. Um, so as soon as we get this gas up, we'll be on the road to games. So I'll be right back. Right? Yeah. We're on the road. Right, Jepus? Yes, sir. On the road again. Just can't wait. Yeah. Going places that I've never been. Um, actually, that's not true. We are going to places I've been many times before, but we're going again because I actually have kind of an agenda today. Are you enjoying your bread with cream thing in it? Yeah. Bread with cream. Bread with cream. Um, so, usual deal, hobby off first and then hard off. I happen to know for a fact, unless somebody's bought it between then and now, that there's a uh, NES top loader at the Hobby Off CIP. So I'm going to be going for that. And two primary goals today are Famicom games and Mega Drive games. So we're going to see what happens. Right? We're going to see what happens now. What? So, so I'll be right back. Okay, so unfortunately, putting my foot in my mouth because it looks like somebody bought the top loader. So I'm not going to be making off with a top loader today. Um, that was really my big goal was to get a top loader. See the prices here pretty good. Got Neo Geo CD for this is actually really cheap. It's like 25 bucks get myself a 64 if I want to. 64 for about 40 bucks. Um, box Super Famicom, 50 bucks. For some reason they're charging uh, like over $50 for this. It looks all chewed up. Got PCFX, more Super Famicoms. Box Famicoms for like $35. But the uh, top loader was here last time I was here and I passed on it. And today I just woke up with a brilliant idea to get me a top loader and now it's gone. So, can't, can't get that. Got, uh, looks like a Sega Mark III or a Master System. Oh well, whatever this is, some kind of Sega console. They're charging about 120 bucks for it, though. How am I gonna show it? Like, yeah. yeah. So, no top loader, but if you pan over this way, you'll see that there are a whole mess of video games for uh, PlayStation. This is all just one big PlayStation aisle. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig through this. At the same time, across the way, there's a whole lot of Saturn, Dreamcast, Famicom, Super Famicom, pretty much every system you could ever imagine. So I'm going to do some digging and hopefully come up with something good. Um, maybe, maybe not. You never know. Uh, and if anything significant comes up, uh, I'll, I'll be back. Mr. Walshock, I am going to trust you and buy myself a copy of Gainog, or whatever it may be called. Okay, so Mr. Walshock, if this sucks, it's on you. Alright, so after all that build up, somebody um, had already bought the top loader, so you snooze, you lose. I should have got it the first time I saw it, but I did get some pretty cool stuff. Let me dig in the bag a little bit. Alright, I got this one. It's a DBZ game. I think it's a fighting game, actually. 
um, just based on the bag. If it's another RPG, that's cool too. But it's called, uh, it's a uh, Dragon Ball Z, and it says, uh, what is it, uh, Seijin Zetsu Metsu Haigaku. Kaku or Gaku, either one. Um, not sure what it is, but anyway, look pretty cool, so. And I like DBZ, so. Alright, uh, next up, this. I got based purely on the uh, suggestion that I get it from uh, one Darren Walshock. So, Guy Nug, hope I'm saying that right. Um, um, looks kind of like a, a shooter, actually, but a little, a little bit off the wall there. So it looks like you're gonna be an angel blasting the shit out of everything. So that sounds cool. Let's see what else I got myself? Another Dreamcast controller. It's kind of a uh, see-through black. It's got a Gundam Wing. 2D fighter. Got a copy of Spyro, the original, which I love this game to death. I played uh, a lot of this back in the day when it first came out. Got a copy of Soul Edge, which came out as Soul Blade back in the States. And uh, that's like the first game in the Soul Calibur series. Got this one here. Came out in the States as Incredible Crisis. This is a very fun, quirky little game. Basically just a collection of mini games, and it's this family and things that happen to them in a given day. So, Incredible Crisis, pretty cool. And, let's see, this is the last game I got. A game called Omega Boost. It's like a mech shooter action game that I played a long ass time ago. I rented it one weekend and really enjoyed it. So, when I saw a copy, I was pretty hyped to get that, Omega Boost. And that's all I got at the hobby off, and now we're headed to the hard off, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So when we get the hard off, I'm gonna try to get a whole bunch more uh, awesome games. I always come up with some goal before I go out, and I'm never able able to uh, accomplish it just because I said I want a bunch of Famicom and Mega Drive games, and I got one Famicom, one Mega Drive, and about a half dozen PlayStation games. So. But hopefully uh, things will be better at the hard off. So I'll be back with some more games. Okay, so just left the hard off, and now I have another bag of stuff. Um, right, let me get this I got a light gun uh, for the Dreamcast, which is uh, gonna be good because there's some good shoes on there. So I got uh, House of the Dead 2 to go with my new light gun. Also for Dreamcast, I got a copy of Super Awesome Shinmu 2, which is um, going to be great. I only ever owned it on the Xbox, so I'm happy to have that. For Neo Geo CD, just because I pick up every Neo Geo CD game I come across, this game is called Final Romance 2, and uh, the side card says it is a surreal Mahjong game, which is great. I know jack shit about Mahjong, but I have to get those Neo Geo CD games. Here, got a copy of Biohazard for the GameCube. This is awesome. I played Biohazard Zero, never got to play the remake of the original. So I'm looking forward to spending some time with that. And finally, something a little special, I guess. Maybe because it's so bad, or because it's so bad it's good. I got a copy of Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, don't laugh, for the Sega Mega Drive. Um, it cost a bit more now that he's deceased, but uh, I've never played Moonwalker either, and I'm looking forward to this, uh, I guess you could say unique gaming experience. Um, sure. Well, anyway, those are the games I picked up at Heart Off, and that's basically all it's going to be for today. So I want to thank Jay for A, driving, and B, being the part-time cameraman. Any parting words, sir? Um, I like turtles. You like turtles? Yeah, turtles. I like turtles, too. Anyway, that's say goodbye to Hard Off, and uh, goodbye to me and Jay. So again, thanks, guys, for watching, and keep gaming.